how many thousands, hundred years old. Broke down. The streets broke me down. Shout all up. Walking with a cane. Wow. What am I going to do? How am I going to defend myself? How am I going to get my hands on a knife? You know, I'm not going back home. That's your mind stick. I'm going to have to do something to somebody and I'm not going back home. So by even going to the penitentiary where I come from, parole is not promised. <laughs> it's not promised. So as I got near, of course, I was still involved. I had that mentality from the streets. I'm going to get over it. So I was involved in many different rackets while I incarcerated. Selling marijuana, sneaking it in, <laughs> you know, doing credit card scams with my woman over the phone. While she's out in society, she's still handling my business. I'm John Gotti. <laughs> this fence going, you know, literally, that's what I thought. I was John Gotti. The boss. They shot me a few times, but I didn't stop. It didn't stop me. Beat a couple of cases. Can't stop me. I'm the Teflon Don. What you think about that? Well, they got me now. <laughs> and I'm in their world. So after the years of the fighting and the years in the hole and things of that nature, that's crazy. You in jail already. Then you put yourself inside another jail while you in jail. So you just shoved yourself in another box. You got to be crazy. But that was my life. But in 2002, my father passed. Unfortunately, I couldn't deal with that. So I committed a song with another inmate so I could get some a long time. That's sad. When you're incarcerated, you don't have no privacy. There's no such thing as privacy. There's no such thing as sleep. You know, you sleep when you rest when you can. <laughs> you know, you can't make another man stop talking next door to you unless you're going to quiet him up. You know, so my father had passed. I needed some alone time. Well, here go one of my enemies. Let me go on and get off on him. So I can go and get me a year in the hole and be away from everybody so I can deal with these feelings. Because, you know, you can't cry in front of other men, right? You're not supposed to do that. Not when you're a hardcore gangster. You can't be crying. But I'm human, just like everybody else, right? I had, a, I still felt like I was a little bit human. I said, I gotta cry. Well, I gotta go to the hole in order to cry. That's sad. So as I'm in this hole, I'm getting my newspapers, and it's like, wow, I'm seeing my friends in the newspaper getting killed. So, I mean, when I say friends, I don't just throw that on anybody. I'm talking about close, we came up together, everything, sports, girls, everything together.